Hello, we are going to talk just a little bit about taking care of God's creation. And why is this important? Like, why do we have to do this? So let's first talk about Elf. Remember, he loves camping, right? And Elf knows that when he visits the wilderness, he has to respect the plants and animals living there. And even if you don't go camping, if you go to a park or a playground, or you go walking in a nature area or wherever like that, we should still respect the plants and animals that live in that area. This is a work of mercy. When we take care of creation, when we're caring for the earth, we're doing it in a balanced and respectful way. And God wants us to do this. There's many places that talk about it. And a couple of places is from the catechism. And I'm going to read it to you now. And it comes from 2402. In the beginning, God entrusted the earth and its resources to the common stewardship of mankind to take care of them, master them by labor, and enjoy their fruits. The gods of creation are destined for for the whole human race. However, the earth is divided up among men to assure the security of their lives, endangered by poverty and threatened by violence. The appropriation of property is legitimate for guaranteeing the freedom and dignity of persons and helping each of them to meet his basic needs and the needs of those in his charge. It should allow for a natural natural solidarity to develop between men. But basically he's just saying that God created these things. He also created us, but we need to be respectful to the plants and animals, just like we're respectful to other friends and people that we encounter. A great scripture that talks about caring for creation is comes from Genesis chapter one. It's verse 29 and 30. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. So just a reminder, God gave us all these things, and we need to take care of them, just like he takes care of us. A saint that really showed this was Saint Isidore. He was a farmer, and so he actually is the patron saint for farmers. And I have a little story to read about him. Um, Maria and Isadora. Isadora was a farmer. He plowed the fields with an ox. Maria took care of the house. They loved their little child. Maria helped the community. She cooked food for them. Isadora went to church a lot, but he worked hard too. Then one day, their little son died. Maria and Isadora were so sad. Maria and Isadora asked God to take care of their little son. Then they helped more people. They told people about God's love. With his ox, Isidore plowed for people. Maria made clothes for people. Maria and Isidore loved God very much. They helped people and were kind. So the search calls them saints. They were our saint. They are our saints, Isidora and Maria. And then this is a little prayer about taking care of creation. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Day one brought heaven, earth, and light. It must have been so very bright. Day two, made, day two God made the clear blue sky, a place for many birds to fly. Day three brought land apart from seas with all the plants, grass, and trees. Day four shone forth moon, stars, and sun. The work of God was not yet done. 
Day five, we see the fish and birds. God did all of this with just his words. Day six, God formed all beasts and man to finish his creation plan. Day seven was especially blessed, a day for worship and for rest. Thank you, God, for your creations. Amen. So next time you're at the park or taking a hike or in nature, remember to respect it. Take care of plants and animals in God's creation. Bye, friends.